Have you ever wanted to zoom in so close to Norman Reedus' face that you can see each of his individual pores? Well, if not, then this video might not be for you, because today we're looking at Hideo Kojima's drop-dead gorgeous world of Death Stranding through the lens of its photo mode. Death Stranding was a surprise to me. I played Metal Gear Solid 5 and I really liked it, but that was the extent of my Kojima knowledge. When I saw this game, I, I liked the visuals, but I couldn't tell what it was. Then the reviews came out and boy were they all over the place, ranging from 5 to 10. I can't even remember a game that had such divisive review scores. So I made myself a little bet as to whether I would buy it or not. If I pulled up GameStop's website and found a collector edition of the game readily available for me to pre-order, I'd do it. Needless to say, it became one of my favorite games of all time, and yes, I do have my BB sitting on my desk as I make this video. The photo mode for Death Stranding was unfortunately added months down the line, and by then I had beaten the game. I would have loved to have that right from the get-go, but I did end up replaying the PS5 edition, which was well worth it. The game was beautiful on PS4, but PS5 was a whole new level of fidelity. Photo mode seemed like a no-brainer for Death Stranding, especially when looking at Kojima as a creative. He has been pretty open about his love for filmmaking and how he originally intended to be a filmmaker rather than a game maker. There are also hints of this love for cinema in his previous games, as there's typically a way for the player to zoom and slightly move the camera during cutscenes almost as if Kojima is inviting the player to take part in the cinematography. I would love for Kojima to expand on this in the future by allowing players to, I don't know, like pick between camera angles during a cinematic. I feel like that would be awesome and very up his alley. All this said, I'm genuinely surprised the photo mode is not more in depth. Don't get me wrong, it's a really great photo mode with a lot of attention to detail and great options, but knowing who Kojima is, I don't know, it kind of surprises me the photo mode didn't go harder, particularly in the realm of capturing movement. You know, most photo modes simply pause the entire screen, which, you know, makes sense, it's a photo, but a few rare games will actually let the environment around the player stay active, creating a more cinematic look. With how beautiful Death Stranding is, I would have loved to do more with that. Still, the photo mode has a lot of care put into it. I love how you can change the poses of the BB especially. There's so many hilarious and adorable little gestures you can have it do. And, you know, the landscapes, well, they speak for themselves. Kojima mentioned that the world of Death Stranding was based on Icelandic geography, and it is certainly beautiful. The way the moss-covered ground slowly morphs into rocky mountainsides is just jaw-dropping. And the gameplay is designed to make players notice this stuff, too. Due to the nature of the travel and needing to know the terrain, you know, it's a really natural way to make players pay attention to the detail on the ground, in the sky, on the land. It's not just about focusing on where you're going and the structures you're getting into. In fact, most of the world is simply geography, which is impressive considering I could close my eyes and remember my travel step for step right now. With so many modern games leaning on point-to-point -point navigation and not so much of the in-between, it's refreshing to have a game that always wants you to take it slow. Honestly, most of my time playing just felt like a photography vacation where I could capture the landscapes. The last thing I want to add isn't necessarily tied to photo mode, but it felt kind of relevant. In the PS5 edition, there's a great option to play the game in a wide format. This is a preference thing for sure, but having more left to right range really complements the sweeping visuals of the game. I encourage anyone to try this out, if not just for a couple minutes. Anyway, that's all for today, and keep on keeping on.